I, I was I went to medical school here, but I also did a PhD, and um, I didn't feel that medicine, uh, I think, had the same creative um, way to express myself creatively in medicine. I mean, you don't you don't want to be creative. You shouldn't be creative with a patient. I mean. It's not something you should. I mean, it maybe in some cases yes, but like you know, the correct medical practice is what you should be following most of the time. So, but science is, as you say, it's it's totally wide open. There is no blueprint, even in this for this career path that that we are on as um, you know academic scientists. There's no blueprint. I mean, it's kind of you have to pick these questions that you think are interesting, and and um, hopefully you're better be passionate about it because there's a lot of frustration um, but it's 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 all it's a great fun I don't regret that but I do think that the time that I had in medical school learning human physiology and disease was has been extremely valuable in the work that we're doing and um, I, I don't think in in graduate school I would have been exposed to the same uh, classes and the same especially you know pathology it's not something you learn in graduate school. I think there's a, a great career path in basic science that is not doesn't involve medicine, and I'm not saying one's better than the other, but in my own career path, I can say it's been very influential, and I'm very happy that I was exposed uh, because I think that the kinds of studies we're doing that are more translationally applicable, like our therapeutic work, I wouldn't have been in as good of a position to uh, participate and help design those types of studies.